Hi guys and girls, Miss Vaselli here with your next Math Flipped lesson of the week. Um, we're going to continue talking about function machines and today we're going to find the missing elements in a pattern. So instead of finding the rule, we're going to find the rule but then we're going to take it a step further and we're going to say, okay, well if that's the rule in step two, what is the rule in step nine? Okay, so I'm going to teach you a little bit of a trick to figure out how you can find that level nine rule. Um, but not have to do all the work along the way. So let's take a look and good luck. So our guiding question for today is how do you find missing elements or steps in a pattern? For example, find the ninth number with when you already have the numbers 3, 8, 13, and 18. And as you can see here, we only have four steps here. We want to know what happens all the way over here in the ninth step. We need to find the ninth number. So Today, in this lesson, you will learn about finding missing elements and growing patterns by using a table. So let's review. Steps and rules. These are numbers that we have, two, four, six, eight. Two is our step one. Four is step two. Six is step three. Eight is step four. And we wanna know how, what number happens when we get to step nine. So as you can see, our numbers are increasing. So obviously we're either adding or we're multiplying. In this case, we're adding. So two plus two gives me four. Four plus two gives me six. Six plus two gives me eight. And then I would continue that pattern until I got to the ninth step. But a common mistake is when finding missing numbers in a pattern, you don't just look for the next number in the sequence. When we have three, six, nine, twelve, we're adding by three. And we don't just want to look for that next number in the sequence, we want to keep going. So we're going to use a table to check for the patterns rule. This helps us to um, organize our thinking as mathematicians. So there's our table, okay? And it is a vertical table. This one's just really, really long. Um, we looked at these yesterday. And these are our steps. So we have step one, we have three. Step two, six, step three, nine, and step four, 12. And we think our numbers are increasing, so we are adding. Okay, so our rule could be adding three, or it could be multiplying by three. So I know one times three is three, two times three is six, three times three is nine, and four times three is 12. So these blue numbers are coordinating with our steps. And that's gonna make it a lot easier for us whenever we're getting all the way to step eight. Because then I can say, well, eight times three, I know eight times three is 24. So I'm done. And then I would fill in these other missing numbers and just check to make sure. So you wanna find the ninth number for this problem. So three, eight, 13, and 18 are the numbers that we are given. So we're gonna plug those into our table here. And I know that step one is three, okay? And I'm, it looks like I'm adding five because my numbers are getting up. I either have to multiply or add. So I'm gonna choose add here, okay? So three plus five is eight, okay? So I'm gonna say that my rule is plus five. And there it is, I plugged it into the rule part of my table. So then I go from eight to 13 and I'm adding five again. Eight plus five is 13. And then, or, and then I go from 13 to 18 and I know 13 plus five equals 18. But there's an easier way because if I did this all the way through, I would have to figure out what this number was and then, well, obviously I'd know what that number was, 13 plus five, is 18, and then I would have to say 18 plus five is this number, and then another number plus five is this number, and then another number plus five is this number, and I have to, have to figure that whole thing out in order to get to the ninth step. There's an easier way, and let's take a look. We're gonna take a look at using a number line, okay? And I'm noticing that I'm counting by fives, and I know the normal way of counting by fives is five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. But here, we're adding fives, so we're still counting by fives, we're just counting by fives in a different way. So three to eight is five, eight to 13 is five, 13 to 18 is five, okay? So there are my jumps of adding five. So three, eight, 13, 18, I'm counting by fives, okay? 
I know that when I count normally by fives, I would go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. But in this case, if I counted by fives the normal way, it would just be 5 minus 2 is 3. Okay, 10 minus 2 is 8. 15 minus 2 is 13. 20 minus 2 is 18. And then I have to think 25 minus 2 would be what? So let's take that to our table. Okay, this is now going to be my rule. 1 times 5 is 5, minus 2 is 3. So whatever step we're on, we're going to multiply that by 5 and subtract 2. Let's plug that into our table. Okay, so there's my table. And I have my rule of 1 times 5 minus 2. So I'm in step 1, there's my 1, times 5 minus 2, which is 3. And I'm going to plug that in again. 2, because I'm on step 2, times 5 is 10, minus 2 is 8. I'm on step 3, so 3 times 5 is 15, minus 2 is 13. 4, because I'm on step 4, times 5 is 20, minus 2 is 18. So if I went all the way over here to step 9, okay, I would say 9 times 5. It's 45, minus 2 is 43. So, take a look at that pattern. I have a pattern there, 3, 13, 23, 43. In this lesson, you learned about finding missing elements in patterns by using a table.